crazy. Yeah, and then I had to go and sue them for it. That's not what I meant. Look, I'm not mad or anything. Just tell me if I'm doing the wrong thing by hurting my parents like this. I believe that my brother's surgery will make you walk again. And when you're out of that chair doing everything you used to do before the accident, your parents will thank you for it. I hope so, because today, I think things are going to get ugly. Why? What's going to happen? It's OK, sweetheart. I know that you'd like to be here. I get that. But you have a meeting to go to, and you really should go to it. I know. OK, I'll see you later. I love you, too. Hey, I hope our little videotape didn't upset my brother. Oh, don't be full of yourself. It was a silly dance-off. <laughs> you're a trip, you know that? So, you're testifying today. Right. I think I'm first up. Hey, Taya. Still can't believe Ross is granting you a divorce uncontested. Yeah, I'm good like that. Hmm. Which you're going to witness firsthand when I win Matthew the right to have this surgery. Oh, I wouldn't break out the bubbly just yet. I still have a few tricks up the old sleeve. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Well, between the tricks you have up your sleeve and the tricks I have up my sleeve, it should be a fun day. Hey, Mommy. Hey. Mm. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working on the new menu for the fall. How does arroz porigueño sound? Ooh, that sounds hot. Yeah. What's in it? Salsa. Salsa. Ay, mijo. I have a uh, discount card for that store. Que compraste? Give it to me. I'll return it and get you some 15% uh, off no, on that. No, you know what? It's, it's OK. Um, I got it on sale. Oh, you know what? I had a dream about us last night. I was in your studio making you a very good meal. <laughs> I miss that place. Yeah, no, I wish I could have kept it. How's your new apartment coming along? Living with Layla and uh, that officer who helped with Antonio and Talia, Oliver? Good. Good. It's, uh, it's fine. I always liked Officer Fish. I hope he settles down with a nice girl. Hey, Fish! Thought about how you're going to handle maybe coming out to your parents when they get here. Hey, could you keep it down, please? Nobody's around, I checked. Your parents will be here soon, and they're expecting to meet your girlfriend. What are you going to do when they show up? You know, I, um, I got to get back to work. I... That's how you're going to handle this? Look, I don't really have a choice, OK? McBain's close to a really major break in a case we've been working on. <sighs> Had to make everyone believe I was busting it. Well, you busted me for trafficking and dragged me down here. I think it worked. Good. If Wolf finds out you're undercover, the drug bust will seem like a day at the beach. You were the one who was stupid enough to get caught buying drugs from that loser Cole Thornhart. Don't you butt dad me. Now, I can make these charges go away, but that does not mean you're off the hook. You're grounded. And that is only the beginning. There. If you're here to whine about that construction permit that oh, I pulled... No, 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 I'm just here to invite you to my candidate's televised event, where she's going to announce that she's going to be running against you. Your candidate? Hello, Mayor. Yes, Mr. Banks is my campaign manager. <laughs> Got a bad feeling off of Lowell before. Look, I, I know Justin told him not the one that sold him the drugs you caught him with. Look, he's got to be out to get me now. As long as he thinks you're just a small-time dealer, you're going to be OK. You think he's suspicious? I don't know if your cover's blown or not, but... Look, if Sergey even thinks that I'm a plane... I'm not taking any chances. That's why you're staying here, where Sergey can't get to you. So you're telling me that Cole is a narc? Cole's not using drugs or selling. He's working for the cops, OK? <laughs> Are you serious? He's working for John McBain? Yes. And he isn't doing anything wrong. In fact, he's doing everything This court is now in session. Ms. Delgado, please call your first witness. Knock it out of the park, bro. I'd like to call Loretta Hogan to the stand. Uh, objection, Your Honor. 
There's no Loretta Hogan on the witness list. But I notified Mr. Clark's office that Ms. Hogan would be appearing at the same time as I notified the court, Your Honor. My office received no such notification. Ms. Delgado. I am not trying to pull a fast one, Your Honor. Ms. Hogan is an expert witness, and I just tracked her down this morning. If you need time to prepare for cross-examination, I'll grant a recess. It's fine. Proceed, Ms. Delgado. Call Ms. Hogan. What's so funny? Come on, Star. You, 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 I can't believe you bought this idea that he's he's working undercover for John McBain. He is, Dad. He's definitely not using, and he is certainly not selling. He is working for John McBain. Okay, that was the deal that John made with the judge so that he wouldn't have to go to prison. I thought he was supposed to do community service. If getting the dealers out of my high school isn't community service, then I don't know what is. I'll be damned. You mean I'm done? We're done the minute you're forced to sell the lost kid. Look. I can't wait to get back to Star and Hope. But I want to see this thing through. After what I did to Matthew, I need to do that. You did plenty, Cole. The rest is up to us. What's the latest? Anything good? Mayor never said or did anything incriminating. I mean, nada. Thank you. I will take over from here. Hey, you do know this is between you, me, and McBain, right? Right. In any event, we came to invite you to my announcement. Why on earth would I attend? A show of confidence, perhaps? In you? No, Mayor. In yourself. I think you need to let the public see that you're not in the slightest intimidated by my candidacy, and that as a result, the campaign will not be dirty and negative. As soon as Cole helps the cops find out who's bringing drugs into Landview, he'll be able to come back and be with me and Hope. If he doesn't get the two of you killed first. Cole is not going to get anyone killed. What I'm worried about is you forcing me to tell you that. Dad, please, please don't make me sorry for trusting you. My name's Loretta Hogan. And what happened to you, Loretta? What caused you to lose the use of your legs? Training accident when I was 16. I was a gymnast and yeah, it happened during a morning practice. What happened exactly? I was working this one vault, sticking the landing, over-rotated. Before the accident, I had scholarship offers from University of Georgia, Penn State, Stanford. All big names in the world of gymnastics. The biggest. And what happened after the accident? How could I ex accept a gymnastics scholarship when I couldn't even walk? And there was no way I could afford those schools if I didn't have a scholarship. I felt like my life was over. All my dreams. What did you do? I found Dr. Evans. And did he perform surgery on you? Yes. From the look of things, it must have been a, a failure. I wouldn't say that exactly. What would you say? I'd say it was a big old success. <laughs> And I owe it all to Dr. Evans. Mm -hmm.